Hello. Coming back, get ya. Gonna um, resin these pendants. Uh, Shear Bear was asking me if I was gonna put resin in them, and yes, I am. So far, this is my favorite one. It's just got a little bit of milky white on the metallic uh, sapphire. I've never done this before. Just making this up. Let me go along. The kitchen's just right behind y'all, so you're gonna hear some racket. The kitchen racket. Now there, there's no type of, uh, there's not an emblem or a sticker or any type of applique in these. What I did is um, I had some paint out yesterday, so I just painted them, painted the flat bottle caps. I used to do bottle cap jewelry, and I got out of it, and I just have a little bit left. So I thought, hey, why not throw some paint and resin on these babies? I figured, what will it hurt? I'm not doing anything with them anyway. See how it turns out. Boop. Unfortunately, I don't have that many left, so if these turn out successful, I don't have any more. But I will buy some pendants and make my own jewelry. I'm working on that. I thought this was a good place to start. <laughs> da, 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 da. Get the green one with the yellow and the sparkle. What you doing now, buddy? Carl the cat is roaming through the house and meowing. And don't worry, y'all. He has not been ignored or mistreated. He's just spoiled. I was cuddling with him most of the day. Okay, those look pretty full. Obviously, I cannot pick them up and show you. But um, I'll show you what they look like when they're dry. bit of heat to it. And I'm going to uh, do this to my pendants real quick. I'll be right back. Okay. Got to keep hitting them once in a while, you know. Woo! That was leaking. Too much, maybe? Too much resin? There we go. Wipe that baby off. Stick it in a clean spot. There we go. This I use old album covers as little work miniature workstations. So if stuff gets messed up, I just throw it away because I've not been able to buy like parchment paper or anything like that yet. So I use stuff that I have around the house. Okay, got Ooh. Yeah, I'm making a mess. I think I got too much resin in a couple of them. I have to transfer them to plastics in case of the overflow. I don't want it to stick to the cardboard. I'll be right back. I got plastic over here. Set them down real quick. And hopefully, I didn't make a big mess with them. So, see how that goes. Ah, let's put that in the garbage. Let's put that in the garbage. That's icky. Okay. Did this, I think I showed some of y'all the other day. This was um, in a cupcake paperweight, or cupcake holder, and I made a paperweight. That's how that turned out. I don't want to touch it too much in case my gloves are tacky. I had a cupcake pan, and I thought I had more in them, but I don't know what I did with it. Oh, there it is. There it is. No, they're all covered. This one's got plastic on it. Alrighty. It's got some more doodads in it, like the other one did. And, uh, got a little bit of overflow, so. Ah! Dropping everything. Just kind of cut the, yeah, I'll cut the berry later. It's not a real berry, it's just styrofoam, so I can get that off later. Anyways, that'll be the bottom. And this will be the top. 
peeled right out of there. I didn't use any releasing agent, but it looks like I should have. That spot's sticking. Yeah. Um, if you don't have any releasing agent at home, I heard that you can use Vaseline. So I'm, I'm going to give that a try. But not too bad for what it is. Just some uh, dried rose petals, dried leaves, and um, some a fake hive head laying around. Okay, so that's that. All right. Now that one's drying. I got to add more resin to it. Aha! Here's one we can take out. Here's my fake rose. Take the string off. I can use that poker thing again if it's not glued on. It's not glued on. The string is. <laughs> there we go. Ooh, pulled right out. Look at that. <laughs> pulled right out. Saves me from doing some snipping and some yanking. All right. So there's supposed to be a paperweight type deal in here. It don't have to be a paperweight. It could be. You could make a. A business card holder, a picture holder, or anything, but I didn't have any of the doodads to stick in it to do that, so I just made the general paperweight type deal. <coughs> Bless you. This is probably going to be cloudy. I probably poured it too fast. This is the one where I had problems because I had to balance um, my tape roll on top of it because it started floating back up. I rushed, I rushed it, and so it's going to be cloudy. Oh, yeah. I ruined it. It's a shame too because my daughter really liked the flower. Oh no, this isn't the one she liked. I don't think. But then it is. Oh, I know which one she liked. She liked this, my fake rose. This was a real flower that was dried, I remember now. But I do have another one. It was one of these. So I'll try it again <laughs> and just pour slowly. So, but my daughter likes this one, so I'm going to give that to her. And that's what I did the other day. These have to be sanded down yet. Okay. So let's see what we got going in here. I started to peel it off a while ago. This is a real dried rose. And I didn't have any fancy doodads to help bring it along. We're just going to see what happened to it. If anything. Yeah, professional tools. I just rip apart. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now what? <laughs> Don't cut yourself. Cutting away from my body with a very dull box cutter. I need new razor blades for this thing. Ah, here we go. Seems to be working. away from yourself. I know it's kind of awkward, but you really don't want to slice yourself open. There we go. Okay, this is not professional. This is my first time doing this. I have more roses to try later. So, yeah, it's a bit on the cloudy side. Um, I am going to either build or purchase, and I, I believe I'm going to build. It's a lot cheaper. I'm going to build a vacuum chamber. So I won't have to worry about the cloudiness or the bubbles. But like I always say, I like to film my mistakes as well as my accomplishments so we can all learn from them. Here's a paperweight, or I mean coaster, that I did. And I used some real dried uh, roses and yellow flower. And, and then I threw some baby's breath in there. I just crumbled up some of the flowers and tossed them in. Um, you can see when the petals popped up, but I can take that off with my little cutter here and I can uh, sand it, wet sand it to smooth it down. Or I could just flip it over and use this side, which uh, ain't too shabby. I just got to learn how to get that side smooth, right? <laughs> okay, so this is what I got. I've been doing these things. Why can't you see them? Ah, here we go. And uh, here's my bracelets that I did. Uh, 
just got too dark, but here's my little pyramid. My other pyramid's not dark like that. And I showed you these. So yeah, that's just some of the resin products I've been into. And some of them are drying, so I can't show you. But hopefully I'm getting better as I go along. So I'll leave your comments, suggestions, criticisms. Just be nice. Okay, love you guys. Bye.